Hi everyone, Julia here, recording this November 28th, I think, should know, 2023, especially since I've made three videos in a row. Just breaking pattern left and right right now because I'm ether popping like, like mad, yeah, it's all cool. And I'm happy to be here squinting in the sun a bit. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool how everything can just change. And, uh, yeah, it's happened to me so many times. And you get to a point where, you know, the only thing that's certain is uncertainty. <clears throat> so, you just go with it. So, yeah, things have really opened up. And, uh, uh all kinds of, uh, new potential and my future so i'm not used to doing videos like this so if i keep looking away that's it i'm not used to like looking at the phone <clears throat> but um yeah it's pretty cool and uh over this past year just wow wow a year ago it was so interesting you know it was like the beginning of one of the little communities and then all kinds of different things went on there, here and there, and all the people that had strife, that are mature, regardless of their age, uh, they're fine now, so you know, there's no hard feelings, and people, we just all went our separate ways, and um, what I learned a lot was um, that, um, you know, I was listening to this guy, I have to, I'll post it, that video, he, um, he was saying that you're really, really fortunate and uh, definitely the exception and not the rule if you can find someone that you really resonate with during this lifetime and just if you can just find one person that you really resonate with. So yeah, to find a whole group and then, you know, everybody in today's world, in my opinion, is just so delicate. And it's because we're so damaged and very few people have done any inner work even though they think they have. You know, they claim they have because they really believe they have. But when you start examining their life, it's obvious that they haven't gotten where they need to be because if you're easily offended by what and how other people say, you know, how, what they say and how they say things, then you have a lot of inner work to do and that's what goes on so much and you know, everybody has to be so politi poli politically correct and in that video that I'm going to share um, he talks about how you know once you become friends with someone you, you can no longer call them out on things you can no longer you know and you know even when you point out something in a nice way that something that somebody's not doing in an optimal way or whatever you know, their ego gets hurt. They get upset. And all I think about is that movie, Idiocracy. And um, that's where I see us going. If everybody's just like, oh, yeah, well, that's totally lame what they just did. And it's not very good. And it's going to fall apart. And it might even be dangerous. But I can't say anything because it might hurt their feelings. You know, or whatever. So, yeah, I think people need to toughen up. But I understand the reason they're not toughened up is because... They really haven't gotten to that heart of that work. They they haven't released the judgment of I'm not good enough. And that's a judgment everyone has. And that's the first thing you do in language lessons of the heart. And I'll post the workshop as well in the description on this video. Because that process, the four processes of language lessons of the heart, they really work. They cover it all. And over this past year, I've encountered so many people in person and otherwise you know just watching people on youtube too uh that consider that they've done you know plenty of inner work and they feel like they're you know healed and harmonious or whatever but then it, it doesn't appear that way when you're you know when you're observing it and we have to be to where we are the um the observers of ourself we have to have that honest self-awareness honest and yeah when people, you know, spew stuff at us, we have to weigh it. 
Okay, what part of that's true? What part of that's projection? And more times than not, it's, you know, over 90% projection. But often there's truths too because it's something that it's about them that you did, so it triggers that part of them. So you have to accept the part that it's about you and, you know, make changes. Admit when you're wrong, make changes, and go on. You know? And I remember way back when, I could never admit I was wrong. You know, I don't know what it is, but yeah. Like Tom Cowell's always saying, we gotta lose the ego. So yeah. That's just my two cents on a few things. And uh, yeah, I'm really stoked and excited about what's to come in my future. Just uh, starting to make some plans here and there. But yeah, I'm uh, yeah, just always in awe of all the magic. So much, so much ether pop and magic has gone on. Hopefully, Cheryl and I can do another talk soon, and we'll dis you know discuss some details with that. But uh, yeah, I hope everybody out there is uh, manifesting the reality they want, and uh, hope you have a good morning, afternoon, or evening wherever you are. And remember, to stay focused on what you want, and help others if you can. Ciao, ciao. Thank you.